Hello and welcome back to Curb Som City and another episode of ECW Lives on TEW 2016. And before we get into the next episode of ECW Revolt, that's following Heatwave. And if you haven't seen that, go back and watch it. But yeah, before we get into the show, we've got a backstage incident involving Vampiro. And he's gotten a lot of heat with the rest of the locker room for his recent attitude. And there are, no, and there are signs that it could turn into something very bad. Um, so we need to really sort Vampiro out. And I'm not sure how. He's now on a written deal, so so we could suspend him for a month. The suspension would start after this show, and he'd be out until September. So we may have to do that. He's lost. He's dropped the title. A bit, but I think we find him before. So we're going to suspend him. Uh, Vampiro will be given a 28-day suspension once tonight's show is over. And he's improved his behaviour as a result. <laughs> so we might be without our biggest draw, but his behaviour has improved, but his morale has actually gone down. Um, so we might have to give him a bonus. <laughs> um, I don't know. But yeah, big, big decision there. But we had to do it, really, looking at the situation. Um, and I think we can get by without him for now. The idea was to, well, actually, I won't even go into what I was going to do, but he's not really a big part of it for now anyway. So we're going to go to the Westchester County Centre in the White Plains, New York, for our venue. And, yeah, I'm going to book ECW Revolt now. So the show opens with Paul Heyman stood in the ring and Paul Heyman says, I'm sure some of you already know from the dirt sheets, but tonight I am officially announcing that ECW has purchased Osaka Pro Wrestling. We have officially taken control of all of their assets. The majority of the contracts were terminated with immediate effect, but following this takeover, the most interesting asset that we now own is the Osaka Pro Wrestling Championship. I would like to now unveil the new belt design for what will be now known as the ECW Osaka Heavyweight Championship. And at the start of next month, ECW will be holding the next pay-per-view in Osaka, Japan, and it will be named ECW Rising. The main event will be an ECW Osaka Heavyweight Championship match, but before we get to that, the brand new belt will be defended in a fatal four-way where the current champion, Super Delphin, will take on three of ECW's best Japanese talent, and that will happen next. So, yeah, we've got a new belt and that you already knew, but it's officially on the screen now. And, yes, yeah, so there's going to be a, a Saka Championship match next. And this got a 62C. Um, I'm looking forward to the pay-per-view in Japan. It should be good. We've got a lot of uh, good talent that are over in Japan, so we should do well. Um, and this angle got the show off to a strong start and got the crowd hotter. And the announcing lifted the segment as well, which was just Joey Styles on his own with Heyman being in the ring. Um, in a bout that had decent wrestling but little heat, Kaz Hayashi defeats Super Delphin, Jushin Liger and Kenta in 10 minutes 20 when Kaz Hayashi defeated Super Delphin by pinfall with a senton back splash. And Kaz Hayashi wins the ECW Osaka Heavyweight Championship. Um, so... It made the most sense to take the belt off Delphin. He's only an opener due to his popularity in America. And Liger is on loan. And Kenta is only an opener as well. So Kaz Hayashi seemed like the best fit so far. Um, and yeah, he's done a good performance as well. 57 for Hayashi. Delphin got a 46, which isn't too bad. Um, Liger got a 64. And Kenta got a 46. Uh, Delphin debuted his fun baby face gimmick and got a very good i'm not sure whether i'll keep him around we'll see how he does he's not got a bad rate in there to be fair so we might just keep him around for a bit and test him out um but yeah 62c to open the show and then a video airs showing the highlights from cm punk versus samoa joe for the ecw world television championship where cm punk was unable to continue the match and the commentators state that he'll be out of action for the rest of the month. And this got an E plus 34. This was based on Overness, so uh, it's not surprising, but yeah, it's not too bad, to be honest. 
uh, since it is only like a two minute segment. Then in about that had decent wrestling but didn't have much heat, Samoa Joe defeats Mikey Whipwreck in six minutes twenty by submission with a dragon sleeper. And this was just a standard squash match. And also I've brought in Jasmine St. Clair on a one night deal just to test her out with a manager and she's doing well with Mikey Whipwreck. And we might try with someone else in a dark match and try and find someone that's gonna be on TV more that she fits with. Um but yeah, so she's actually done quite well in this. And they've got great chemistry, apparently. And they've got a C minus 55 overall. Joe got a 72. And Mikey got a 39. And no improvements. And then Rhino enters the arena. And he says, last night, I proved without a shadow of a doubt that I'm not only the most dominating man in ECW, but I'm the most dominating beast in the whole of the professional wrestling world. My so-called friend turned his back on me and proved that he is nothing without me. Just look at these. And he points at his belts, the ECW and the GPWC World Heavyweight Championships. And he says, there is not a single person in this world that can beat me. Nobody in ECW, nobody in New Japan Pro Wrestling, especially nobody in the stinking WWF. For tonight's main event, as the champion, I have been given permission to hold an open challenge to anybody in the wrestling business. If they can beat me, they get an undisputed championship match. And then the junior heavyweight champion, Minori Tanaka, enters the arena and accepts the challenge. So we've got champion versus champion in tonight's main event. C plus 71 for this one. So that's good for Tanaka's popularity. He's in a good segment there. And then the main event in a battle that had great wrestling and good heat. Rhino defeats Minori Tanaka in 18 minutes with a gore. Um, so yeah. Minoru Tanaka's had a good showing going 18 minutes with the Undisputed Champion, but he came out on the short end in this one. But yeah, it should be good for his popularity to have a really good match, 70 match. Um, Rhino had an in-ring performance of 77, Minoru Tanaka had a 70. So he's really held his un end of the bargain. Um, the aim of the match is a spectacle. Rhino to win, open, decisive finish and pin four. But yeah, C plus 70 to end. And this show increased our popularity in 20 regions um a good revolt there overall uh, 66 c plus overall we got a 0 0.87 tv rating uh, which is pretty good overall compared to what we've got in the past and i've also just noticed that we're now second in the world um so if we look at so if we look at the company wars uh, we've risen above new japan um We've got decent popularity. Uh, so let's just have a quick look at that on the main screen. Um, so we've got D pluses. Um, let's look at popularity, actually. If we track progress of popularity, we started on 45 in Great Lakes, we're now 49. 40 in Mid-Atlantic, Mid 48 now. Same again. So yeah, if you just want to pause here and look at the, the differences, but yeah, overall, we've risen. Apart from the Tri-State, where we started at 60, we've now got 55, but the overall picture's looking positive. Popularity-wise, I'm not, I don't think we can look at importance, but we're still keeping up on track with being cult. Um, so yeah, we need 47 in two regions, and we've got 49 in New England, and 56 in the Tri-State, so... Yeah, we've gone up to second in the world now. Now we just need to go above WWF. But yeah, hopefully rising in Japan, in Kinky, which is where Asaka is. Hopefully that helps us out as well um, going forward. And I'm just going. I want to check what WWF is in Japan and to what we need to aim for to beat them over there. So yeah, they've got pretty good. They've got like Bs and C pluses, um, B minus a C there. C plus. So yeah, we need to. We've got a long way, pretty much, to take down WWF. But yeah, maybe one day we will. Let's see. But that's it for this episode. Hopefully you've enjoyed it. If you have, hit the like button and subscribe for more TEW 2016 and general wrestling content. And until next time, peace.